What's up, YouTube? Welcome to more trades. This is an update on Solana. We're going to be taking a look at it and looking at the possible next moves for Solana. Uh, if you're new to the channel, then subscribe to the channel and hit the notification so you don't miss these updates. Now, Solana, uh, looking at Solana from the lows, we moved in. Uh, well, we finished our down move possibly here and we started moving up. This is on the daily. We could have completed our up move over here. And this is all part of a correction. Like uh, we had a possibly an A, B, C down. But I think we possibly finished over here. This was the peak of our first move up. And now we're going down. The thing is about the move down, we could have... Uh, I said it before in my previous old videos, if you watch them, we could have a big move down and still be bullish on Solana. Because as per this wave count, Solana can come all the way down to the $13 range and still be in bullish territory. Yeah, all the way to $13 and you won't know uh, whether, I mean all the way to $12, 11.9 and you won't know whether it's going to uh, that's it's going to zero or it's going to rotate up so for a holder <coughs> Solana comes down to $12 that's a very good buy zone for someone who's holding Solana now the 0.618 is also a zone and the $17 $17 17.4 and $15 are zones also of possible bounces it doesn't have to come all the way to 12 it's a range between $17 and $12. It's a zone for Solana to bounce. Now you can see over here, we hit the $17 and we bounced. It could mean that, okay, Solana's done and we're rotating to the upside. Now, if Solana's not done, we had a one move down from here. We had a pull back up and we could have a third leg. Now, how do you measure out where could you end up? Using a trend-based FIB, we go down. You can see the, for starters, the 0.618 of the trend-based FIB is very close uh, to where Solana bounced from. Actually, it went very close to the 0.786 extension. So we can see some overlapping between these. So I think where Solana bounced from, it could, but I'm looking at it at the moment and it's showing weakness. It's not showing me strength. Volume is declining slightly at this move down. On this, we see the move down, volume declining. That tells you the move down at the moment isn't volume supported like this move down was volume supported volume was increasing gradually we could have a rotation but it all depends on bitcoins on bitcoin sorry we have the poc at around 13.7 that's a zone i would be interested in if we come down solana is in between two major zones i believe we yet need to break the 26 dollar zone and go to 40 dollars or we are to come down all the way to the five to seven dollar range. Why five to seven dollar range? Watch my old videos on Solana and I was explaining these targets uh, during my Elliott Wave count or the trend-based FIB uh, extensions. So these are possible targets for Solana. For a long time holder, that shouldn't matter. If you believe in Solana, you believe in the project, then those are just good buy zones. Uh, $39, $40 is still in my chart. I have this line forever. 39.433 and the five to seven dollars have been there forever but if i always said if only if we can get good support above the 25 dollars zone then we could be going higher short term view uh for traders the four hourly yeah i don't see this as an impulse and continuation it looks like it's trying to roll over one hour short-term view let's put a fixed range fib 
uh, sorry, a fixed range volume profile over here for this small range that we have over here. We have our value area low over here at around 19.2. Get support there. Then you could be coming up to retest the 22.2 or even the 22.7. So your support at the short term now is 19.2. Uh, that's your value area low. And if you pull a Fib retracement, that might coincide and give you confluence. Your 0.618, yeah, the 0.618 comes right below the value area low. The 0.618 is at 18.9. So you have some support at around $19. That's good news. Now going to our bigger range, pulling the fixed range volume profile all the way back here. Now, let's see. Value area low remains the same. Our POC is at $20.7. So those are the targets for me for Solana. But looking at the volume, the volume is declining uh, on the way up. Let's confirm. See this pullback, slight pullback up is in low volume. But this usually is does precede a big move uh to the up or to the downside an explosive move could be coming we can look at one more thing uh, i would like to show you i was talking about it in the stream yesterday i had two live streams yesterday we streamed twice and uh, i was talking about this indicator the rsvvb on the hourly at the moment we are expanded because we had that move down but usually when you see the RSVVB cool off and contract like this, you see it over here contracting, that's preceding a big move. So how do you know when to expect it? What I like to do on Bitcoin, I usually measure it out, the width. I use this, the ruler on the tools. And I measure for Bitcoin, I like to see it below 2%. That would tell me that there is a very big move incoming. For Solana, I haven't measured out before, but it looks like 3% three, 3 could be a measured. Uh, I measured this point over here, it showed me 3%, and then we had the expansion. It doesn't have, always have to work out, but it works out a lot of times. All right, that's my update for Solana. Hope you liked it. If you did, smash the likes and um, uh, click your notifications so you don't miss these updates. And I'll see you on the next one.